guys, I am Trenton Davis. I am, I was honored and blessed to be one of the comedians on the 2020 Soul Train Cruise. And I have the awesome opportunity today to co-host and uh, I guess I'll say co-cook with Melissa Morgan, even though I don't get to taste any of the food. Melissa, how you doing today? I'm fine. How you doing, Trenton? I am doing well. I just want to start off with saying you look absolutely beautiful in your yellow. Well, you like thank a, you. I'm yes. to be a Southern girl today. You know. Oh, you're a Southern <laughs> Southern belle. Where, where Where are you from? Where are you Where are you cooking from today? I'm cooking from Aiken, South Carolina. I have a house here, and we came down here uh, right before the pandemic, and okay. uh, we haven't been able to leave because. I do have a co-op in New York, but you know, no one is going to New York right now. Yeah. So, um, so here we are and we're safe. Uh, it's doing really good down here. Thank you, South Carolina. I want to applaud them because they got right in action with this pandemic and they good. have the plastic uh, 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 partitions in all the supermarkets. They shut down all the stores. We have a ordinance to stay at home and nice. wash our hands. Look, look at my wash your hands sign. Come on now. <laughs> Come on up, with a girl. There uh, we go. There we go. <laughs> now was was that there before the pandemic or after? After. <laughs> <laughs> so before y'all was just nasty in South Carolina. You wanna watch <laughs> No, we've always had uh wash stuff here but you know, now it's like wash your hands. And I tell you, I haven't had any visitors except for me and my fiance. I won't let anyone in my house right now. Nice. It's, you know, we, we got to do what we got to do to protect ourselves. Well, I will say this to you. Your house looks absolutely amazing. And I am super Thanks. excited to cook with you. I'm going to tell you, I want some of that food. So your fiance is going to have to chase it for me and tell me how it is. Okay, well, we're going we gonna to get started with this shrimp. Then I, I'm just going to... We can talk and I can just okay. get started because I got the pans right here. Perfect. And we're okay. going to make, we're going to make a, a fettuccine Alfredo with shrimp. Okay. Okay. Uh, fettuccine so Alfredo gonna... with shrimp. It sounds good. Now, do you want to go over the ingredients real quick before people get started? Do you want to go over the ingredients? Yes. We've got... Um, well, olive oil is always good. We got okay. butter. We're going to start with that. We got shrimp. We got mushrooms. Ooh. We got um, uh, scallions. Yes. A tricolor peppers. That's the red, green, and there's some yellow in there. And we got garlic. And um, we've already cooked the fettuccine because I'm not going through all that steam and heating while I'm on, <laughs> on the camera. Okay? So it's okay. Already <laughs> Now, do you, while you're talking to the people, do you have a preference of fettuccine that you get? Uh, well, you know what, this, I'm going to tell you about pasta that my uncle told me. He said, basically, all pastas are the same when you get them in the box because they're really coming from one or two companies. Okay, okay. So, basically, whoever makes, like, like um, um, Ronzoni and yeah. that one, they're basically making this. They're all the same. Putting put it in this box. You know what I'm saying? So they they're giving us the box. Yes. Yeah, they're giving us the illusion of choice, but it's really yes, yes. Okay, <laughs> yes. all right, I'm with you. Yeah, I'm my with uncle you. taught me that a long time ago. So thank you, Uncle Willie. He said, you know, you can get Kroger, A and P, whatever it is, you know, you can get Ronzoni, you can get whatever you want. They all basically come from one or two companies and they just put them in different boxes. There we so, go. Well, let's get give a shout out to Uncle Willie then. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So, okay, so what do we do first? We put a little oil in the pan, huh? We put an oil in the pan, then I'm gonna put a little butter, and we're gonna start sauteing this shrimp. So, okay. And, uh, um, and then I'm gonna do this pan, and I'm, I'm gonna do these green peppers, and the onions, and the garlic, because the green peppers take a little time to, you know, uh, wilt down. Okay. You know? Now, what wilt temperature? Down. What, Look at me, what, wilt down, I'm cooking. <laughs> What, what temperature do you put your shrimp on, and then what temperature do you put your vegetables on? Well, you know, here's the thing. I have an a electric um, stove. Okay. And so basically, I put everything like on seven because uh, the electric stoves don't heat up quite as, as hot, hot, hot as the gas stove. 
Okay. So I okay. usually keep it like on seven, eight, just so it stays hot. And then if it gets too hot, then I'll turn it down. You can turn it down. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So if so I, have, I, have, I got a gas stove and I can't cook. I'm not going to lie to you. I can't cook. All right. During, during the whole epidemic, I'm not worried about toilet tissue. I'm not worried about paper towels. I'm worried about if they cut off Uber Eats, it's a wrap for me. I'm gonna be, <laughs> if y'all cut off Uber Eats, I'm going to be dead in here. I'm just telling you now. So my question is, <laughs> If I got a gas stove, do I put it on like medium? Do I put it on medium high? Yeah, medium yeah, low? I'm on, uh, on medium. You know, okay. I'm gonna put it on frying chicken. <laughs> okay. <laughs> hey, don't put it on. Don't on put it on chicken, chicken hot. <laughs> <laughs> Just you know what I'm saying? We saute. We ain't frying. So. There we go. I got you. I got you. I got you. <laughs> well, see, it's already. It's already. It's getting there. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, it's getting there. So we letting that uh, kind of do that. And okay. we're going to put the shrimp in there, and then we're going to start this the same thing, a little olive oil and a little butter, because then okay. when you mix all the, this is like a one-pot meal. So when you mix all the ingredients together, the olive oil and the butter, you know what I'm saying? It, it gives it nice flavor. Nice, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we, we, we're just going to do that, and we're going to do just a little bit less than here, because okay. this is the one we're going to make everything in. Gotcha. So, now, this is one big pan, yeah. Did you, so, you, you de and cut your shrimp all on the front end? I buy them kind of like that. But these here, I don't have to debate them. These are Gulf Coast um, shrimp that we got from the fresh market. So, um, well, wait a minute, wait a minute now, man. I thought y'all wasn't going nowhere. It sounds like you've been going out, and I'm trying to figure out how you're getting this from the fresh market. The fresh market is down the street. We go to the supermarket. Oh, you can go to the supermarket. Yes, we can go to the supermarket. Okay. So we put the mask on and our, our gloves and we go to the supermarket. So we got these from the fresh market. And I actually had gotten these and frozen and, and, and put them in the freezer. And then okay. when we said we was going to do this, I, I brought them out because these are not like those farm raised. These are like like from the Gulf Coast. So, okay, all right. Yeah. So okay. these are good ones, huh? No, those are fresh. Those are the ones yeah. I need to get. Okay, yeah. all right, I'm with you. Yeah. So, so, from South Carolina. Oh yeah, from South Carolina. When I say Gulf Coast, yeah, from so yeah. So, oh, yeah. it's from the Gulf, the South Carolina Gulf. Yes, yes, yeah. Okay, all right, I hear yeah. so. So we we, so we got, got a very fresh market here, so so we definitely we, we try to use that. So okay, all right, good deal. Yeah. Mm hmm So we're just putting this in, and nope. you know, no, what, is what is that butter? A little bit of butter, a little <laughs> bit of butter. <laughs> yeah, you try to slide that in. We just put yeah, this in. We don't know what to do. I didn't put a lot. Just a little bit of butter because you want the um when you saute the green green uh, peppers and all that stuff, you want to have a little taste to them, a little okay. flavor. Yeah. yeah so, so that's where we at. Yes, yeah, so we're getting this done. I need to turn this on. So we're turning this one on. And you know what? Wait a minute. I was on the Soul Train cruise with George Clinton. Oh, you were. Oh my God! The party never stopped. And oh. let's get, who was on there? George Clinton, who I know very well. Um, um, Smokey Robinson, Gladys Ooh. Knight was on there. I didn't Ooh. get to meet Smokey or Gladys. Gladys got off the same day that I got on, and I oh. didn't get to meet Smokey because Smokey, well, he never came on the ship. He performed on the dock. Oh, I got you. I got yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. So you, you did it 2019, correct? Yes, I did, 2019, and it was off the chain. I love the Soul Train Cruise. Did you have yes. a good time? Oh, I had the time of my life. That was my first one. Had you been on before? No. I have been on cruises before because um, I work with travel agents that, you know, like book the lounges and stuff, and then they yeah. had, you know, had me perform, and they had to get a certain amount of people on there, and I was their entertainment, but the Soul Train Cruise, was something totally different because yes. I mean they just booked the whole cruise. It was amazing. Yeah, it was. It, it, yeah. I had, so so tell the people. In addition to being a cook, right? What 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 do you do? Tell the people what you do. I sing. There we go. <laughs> I'm, I'm Melissa Morgan, the singer. <laughs> nice. There we go. Yeah, you you know my songs. Do me, baby. Do you yeah. still love me? Love changes with Kashi. Nice. Um. Oh my goodness! Uh, what else, babe? Fool's, Fool's Paradise. Paradise. Yeah, that was uh, remade by uh, uh, Jay Z with his "Can't Knock the Hustle." 
So while we're doing that, I'm seasoning the okay. shrimp, okay? Love Demands. Love Demands, that's my new one. We'll Only talk about one. that a little bit more. But you know, Do Me Baby was written by Prince, and, and I had the pleasure of, of doing it in 1986 or 87, Ooh. something like that. And uh, it was number one for like four weeks. Yeah. Wow. So, so we're doing a little lemon pepper. You know, okay. Now you can't bring up Prince and try to change the subject. Now wait a minute, hold on. So you, so, so wait a minute, hold on. Stop, stop, stop. You don't get to bring that up and then go right to the lemon pepper. Now this is over. <laughs> so you say you did do me, baby, with Prince. That is amazing. Okay, so was he was he cool? Did y'all did you were y'all friends or you did the song and then you know he went on with his life and vice versa? Well, what happened is that um, they had the song on hold. I signed with Capitol Records and I did the song and then I met Prince afterwards. And he was always cool. He just wouldn't let me take a picture with him, which was kind of, you know. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and I toured with Shaka Khan. You okay. know, Shaka and Prince are, are, are good friends. So when they did something, they invited me to, to their event to see Shaka sing. And he was there, but he still wouldn't take a picture with me. I don't know why, but um, you he know, didn't want you to outshine him. You know why? You already know. Come on. Tell yeah. say, please tell her why. He, he always had higher heels than I did. I, I, I wondered about that. But uh, wow. other than that, he was he he was he was nice. He was always nice to me though, nice. and uh, always uh, they had you know the best champagne and the best all that. I don't drink anymore, but. You know, when I, I was with him, it was Don Perrion and Chris Style to the nine. Wow. So the best of the best, yes. So I got two quick questions. One, what was the sauce, I mean, what was the sprinkle that you just put in there? It looked like Lowry's. I know Lowry's when I see Lowry's. I don't do no Lowry. No, you don't know, no, I don't do no Lowry. This is Cajun seasoning. <laughs> okay, all right. Got your Cajun this in there. Cajun seasoning. This is a little gall, uh, uh, onion powder. Okay. And a little garlic powder. Yes. There we go. And yeah, then, that's, all you, that's all you need for that. And it's ready, so you just put it in. I mean, yeah. it's, 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 second question while we're doing that. So wh where did you start your career and when did you start singing? I'm from Queens, New York. Okay. Yes, I'm from Queens, New York, and that's where I started. Uh, and, and I came up with era with LL Cool J and, and all those people from Queens. And wow. uh, we just had a good time. I started in church. Okay. You know, and uh, work my way into R and B. You know, in school, and and uh, everyone asked me why why I didn't go gospel um, because at that time, R and B and and you know the, yeah. it was more, more popular, so yeah. it, it was better for me to to take that route. So we're putting the garlic in. Okay. You know, we're putting the green peppers in. Okay. Yeah, and we're getting this thing started. Here we go. Now, what do you feel like, Melissa, was your big break? Your first, your first big break. I know you've had several, but your first big break, the one that, that if, you, if you say this changed the, re the rest of my life, the trajectory of my life, what do you think it was? Um, I, I would say my background stuff, singing with Shaka Khan, Whitney Houston, okay. Malcolm Moore, you know, uh, just getting known in the industry and then um, being able to record uh, with a group called High Fashion. Okay. They did a song called Feeling Lucky Lately. And then I got a break to sing the lead for a song called Body to Body. He been okay. touched Body to Body. I don't know if you know that song. He been touched Body to Body. Yeah. Yeah, that was that was me singing the lead. Yeah. Okay. And I, wow. I got a chance to do that. And, and that's when I actually started, you know, touring and getting gigs and stuff like that. And okay. people started recognizing me. Working wow. with the Chief was great, you know, because I was like his go-to singer to sing background. And that's how I got to sing on Whitney Houston's uh, CD uh, album, her first one, You Give the uh -huh. Love and all of that. Because uh -huh. I was the go-to uh -huh. background singer. Yeah. How was Whitney? Was she cool? Was she was she a, was she a diva? I know you don't want to tell too many secrets. How was Whitney? Whitney, Whitney, people call Whitney a diva, but okay. Whitney was cool. She was a little tomboy, you know. Really? What I'm so, yeah, yeah. So she 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 was down. She was down for the cause, whatever, you know. She okay. never tried, you know, she never tried to act like she was better than anyone. She was always. Down with the girls. What y'all doing? I'm doing too. We all good, you know. Nice. So That's yeah, cool. and I, I'm I'm proud that I have my Diamond Platinum Award um, 
um, for singing with her. Oh. But hey, maybe you can show my, my awards. Yeah, yeah. show the award. Yeah, sure. he, yeah, while I'm cooking a little bit, he's going to show you some of my awards. Okay. With, uh, Mary J. Uh, I was, um, Mary J., I wrote songs on, on her CD. Wow. And, uh, okay, Wait. I'm going to turn you down a little bit. I'm because I'm going to walk backwards. Okay, he's going to walk backwards. Okay. okay. Right. I don't care. Don't care. Real quick. Here we go. <laughs> I like right it. My awards. Right there. Wow. Yeah. Look at that. Daisy. Yeah. Wow. With oh. uh, he closed this up. Yeah. With uh, Mary J. That's uh -huh. me and Mary. Uh huh. Whoa. Isn't that nice? And with LL Cool J. Oh, now what would you do with LL? Um, oh, stand by your man. Okay, okay. Yeah, that, yeah, that, that was mine. Yeah. Wow. And this is my closet for my shoes. You can see like, a little bit of Okay, I don't want this. to see I all see of you. it all. Oh. At least see the shoes. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> So now, of course, I'm I'm looking at all this now. When you go to like the Soul Train cruise, and everything, how many bags you got? You got bags like on home, uh, like on uh, coming to America. I, I, I wish. <laughs> it's like too much for that now. <laughs> but I'm using I, I'm using over by one. Really? Yeah, I'm using over by one. I have like the the carry on, and then I usually have like. One big one yeah. and then another one. I'm usually over by one. So yeah. So how many now? So how many? How many, how often do you get to perform now? Are you performing every week, every two weeks, every? How often are you performing now? Well, and, before, and, I'm sorry, and not yeah, now yeah, in quarantine. But yeah, before you know. this pandemic, we had it going on. We was about to do a show with Stephanie Mills and the Whispers at Foxwood. Okay. We were going to uh, um, Florida to do a show. We really had it going on. So this shrimp, even though you see, let me before I finish that, this shrimp uh -huh. is, is like almost done, but because we're gonna put it in this one, okay. as soon as it's like almost done, I'm gonna turn it off because it's gonna continue to cook in the Got sauce. you, makes sense. Got okay. you. Got you. Right. You don't so, want to overcook. Like just about there, yeah. Okay. So um, yeah, we were going to do shows in a polka. Whoa. A polka Florida. A polka. A polka Florida. Yeah. We had um, Foxwood with the Whispers and uh, Stephanie Mills. We was about to announce a tour, uh, uh, like a, a eight to ten city tour with uh, two major artists, and then the pandemic hit. So, oh man! Yeah. So hope, yeah, prayerfully it'll come right back. Whenever, whenever, whenever uh, it we get back to quote unquote normal, I pray that everything comes back. Yeah, yeah. Well, the one thing that we're happy about is that nothing was canceled. Everything was just good, postponed. Good. So we're feeling blessed about this. So we got some mushrooms. We're gonna throw some mushrooms in there. Not all of them because okay. everybody don't like mushrooms. Now, what type so of mushroom? What type of mushrooms are you? Do you know? These are just a okay, portobello. Okay. Okay. Good deal. Gotcha. Yeah. 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 Really nice. You can just get them. We got them from Walmart. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now what? Let's say you're talking to somebody that is uh, on the front end of his or her career. They're chasing a dream. It could be singing, it could be whatever it is. What, what um, advice, because you've been in the game, you've worked with some of the biggest artists, you've just had an awesome career. What advice would you give people that are just starting out? Have fun, yeah. learn, learn, learn. Get a good lawyer, <laughs> oh, a good accountant. Get a good lawyer and a good accountant because uh, we don't follow those things when we're making a lot of money. Right. You know, right. Uh, whether you're making a little bit of money or a lot of money, you still got to file your taxes. Yes. And, and speaking of that, I, 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 I had you laughing because uh, I'm not getting the stimulus Whoa. check. Whoa! <laughs> Who took your stimulus check? Wait a minute. Let's, I'm going to call, I'm gonna call I'm not Trump right now. I'm not, I'm not <laughs> in that bracket. My, my accounts are child. Don't worry oh. about that. So, you know, so we're going to try to uh, go for the other one. There's another one that uh, you can go for the, the $2,000 a month or whatever. We, we it, try, you know, I, I don't know what's going to happen. Is it because you're, because, is it because um, you're classified as a, um, as a contractor, right? Independent contractor. Is that why? Yes, that's yeah. exactly why. And so these okay. scallions, we're going to throw these scallions in here. And, and, and let them get some of this uh, good old olive oil. And, Ooh, and that's looking and good. It looks good. Yeah. Yeah. So, and that's mm. looking good. Now, what's it, what's it smelling like over there? Oh, 
baby. I wish you had television. I wish you had it. Oh, man, that looks good. Okay, so, yeah. so so you said you said get a good attorney. You said get a good accountant, right? Yes. And then and then in any other advice, like I talk to people often about the importance of not giving up. I tell them often. I said, I, as a comedian, I said I've been told no at least a hundred times, five hundred times. Yes. Right. I've always been told no. Yes. Always. Yeah. And, and 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 you have to, you know, know your skill, know know what you're worth. Yes. That, that's been one of the things um, uh, with me that I'm I'm really blessed. I wrote songs, okay. you know, and so these songs now, you know, that money comes in every month. Whoa. Yeah, so it, it's a blessing rather than sitting around waiting, you know, for the next gig or yeah. the next, you know, you you have you have some uh, foundation. Nice. Nice. Because we we don't we don't do. Iras and 401ks in this business. <laughs> right, that's true. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I had an IRA. That thing, I mean, you can do an IRA, but look at it. You're putting your money in something, you're putting your money in something, and 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 you've already paid taxes yes. on it, and you put the money in it, and then when you take your money out, you pay All taxes over again. on it. Again. That's exactly right. That's exactly right. And so 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 we we can't, you know, I was we don't have 401ks because we're working here, we're independent contractors. So you know, find ways to save your money. Hey, have you invested in Netflix? I, I have not. Do I need to? Don't we all? <laughs> <laughs> but I, I feel I feel like I'm about four or five years too late. I want to know what's the next Netflix. Uh, no, right? no, really, that's true. Well, if right? you find out, let me know. <laughs> I will definitely let you know. I will 100%. If I find out, trust me, I will let you know. <laughs> so, so now, and speaking of writing and speaking of... of, of of just you know of knowing your worth what have you been doing during the quarantine have you been writing songs what, what do you do in addition to cooking right what do you do to uh just to pass the time during the quarantine well um i, I do some of the <laughs> your fiance <laughs> laughing hold on don't tell us sleep. That. it's kids sleep. on here yeah we, we sleep 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 <laughs> sleep I, don't, I have got so much sleep in all my life but um uh, I crochet, okay. you know, I do crochet, and so we do that, and then we're working on my blog, oh. so, yeah, I, I was supposed to have my blog up two years ago. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. So we working, because I've done city winery, and, and you know, I've done Japan, Japan was awesome. Oh. So real, real quick, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just give two things, real quick, tell the people, when you get your blog up, where can they find your blog? Okay, well, it's going to be about my lifestyle. It's not going to be about Melissa. It's going to be lifestyle with Melissa Morgan, where I'm going to be talking about cooking, okay. traveling, because I have a place in Aruba that I go to every year. Whoa. Oh, my God. Oh, okay. Now, tell. so I want you to tell us about Japan, and then tell us about Aruba. Oh, my God. Japan was awesome. awesome. I played Billboard Live in Japan. We played four shows. Oh. And we came in right after Brian McKnight, and it was just so nice. I had not been to Japan in like 19 years, oh. and I, I don't know what happened, but uh, I used to go to Japan a lot, and then all of a sudden, you know, it just kind of dried up, and then they called me, and they wanted me to come, and I put my band together. I had um, Deverne and uh, Vincent Soul, and we went over there, and you talked about being treated like royalty. Oh. It was amazing. So then I did Japan, and then right after that, um, I did London. Oh! I did London uh, in, in Europe with Melba Moore. Okay. Shirley Jones from the Jones Sisters and Jean Khan. Wow. Wow. It was so great. And we did we did the O2 Arena. Oh, God, it was so, it, now, was, it, it was, yeah. Was all this in 2019? Yes, this was in 2019. Oh, yeah. oh my! So you did, so you did Japan, and then left there a couple weeks or months later. Did London, and did London, uh huh, and, and then, uh, and then did that with Melbourne Moore and like I said, Shirley Jones, wow. and we did the arena. It was so nice, and then um, went back to New York and went back over to Europe and did Amsterdam. Just oh. a wonderful year. Now, so, uh, now, of course, I gotta ask. So you you did you did Japan, London, uh -huh. Amsterdam. What was your favorite? Was it the O2 Arena in London? What was your favorite um your favorite uh uh city, I guess? Um I I like London. Um I like 
London. Okay. Because um, a, about a year before that, and we're going to talk about something with my girl Patty in a minute. <laughs> about a year before that, I I opened for Patty Labelle in the Whispers at oh. Will at, at at Wembley Arena. So. Wow. Come on now. Yeah, they just, yeah. They, they treat me so well over there. So uh, we did like like five shows with them, and, and, and I had a great time. Oh, that's so time. good. That is yeah. so awesome. Yeah, I, I performed with some really wonderful people. Who oh, they? Joe. Yeah. We did uh, uh, genuine, and I just um, and that was last year too, though, wasn't it? Yeah. Wow. Uh, with Kim. With Kim. Oh my God, we did, uh, what, what was it? Pennsylvania? Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania with Downtown. Kim. Downtown. Downtown. Wow. And it was so wonderful because Kim always requests me. When really? Was, yeah, yeah. Cause I've been working with him since he first came out. Okay. So uh, when he first came out and he did his tour, we did a couple of dates and he always just showed me love. So every, you know, when he wants me to open for him, he'll tell the, the agents and stuff, I won't believe some more yet. And wow. so I was be for this show, and it was an all-white show. The whole audience was dressed in white. We oh. were dressed in white. We oh. had the best time. Oh, so thank you. So now. awesome. <laughs> that is so awesome. So okay. yeah. you it's, see. it's good to develop those kind of relationships, yeah. you know, with with the artists, um, and and from time to time go back and and, and work with them. Working with Genuine was nice too. He was on a great yeah, he's show. Super cool. Yeah. Now, now where, yeah. where where did you work so, with Genuine? What part of the country were you? Or world? What part of the world? Atlanta, right? Albany. Albany. Oh, upstate, okay. Yeah, upstate in the Egg. Is, is a place called the Egg, and uh, it's a, a really nice arena up there. So this is kind of getting together here. Look okay. at that. You see oh, that? That looks good. It see looks good. See how that's yeah. right there? Okay. And then I told you that, that this meal is like a, a one pot meal and everything is kind of like already prepared. Okay. So this is what we're going to do here. So we got to find it. Okay. We're missing the Alfredo. It's in the space. Where? No, we're missing the Alfredo sauce. Oh, in the cab. Okay, okay. Is it the cab? Oh, you put it there in the cab. Okay, that's all right. Look, you don't want to tell me to put everything back the way you got it. <laughs> <laughs> and then you put it where you're supposed to put it. Now you can't find it. Lose, lose, bro. Lose, lose. So we already did the Alfredo, okay. right? So we're okay. gonna just take this, okay? Take this and just put this in here. Nice. You know, put that in there. Yeah. yeah. Are we coming along now? How are we doing? You looking great. So it tell us a little about yourself, now, Trey. What, what you got going on? I'm oh. I, I wish I could say that I was uh, as accomplished in comedy as you are as a singer. I'm, I'm uh, doing great, though. I can't complain. So I've been doing comedy for about uh, 2007, 13 years. Um, and so my um, Soul Train cruise, uh, my first one was last year. I've done cruises before, but I've never done a Soul Train cruise. Okay. Um, I'm, I'm from not too far from where you guys are. So I'm from North Carolina, from Greenville, North Carolina. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And then went to school in Atlanta. My parents live in Atlanta. And then uh, got in, my first job out of college was in Chicago. And so that's where I started doing comedy. So long story short, is I got a job. Well, Chicago is a good market, though. It's a great. I love Chicago. I mean, I don't yeah, like it's cold. City winery. In, right. In Chicago. Yeah. Very nice. Very. I love Chicago. But uh, it's and, cold. Yeah, it is cold. I had to get out. I had to leave. Um, but I, I started in Chicago. I was there from 03 to 2010. There we go. What, so what kind of, what kind of uh, okay. Alfredo sauce are you doing? So see, this is just, um, you can get any. Look at that, Alfredo nice. sauce. You know, okay. I like the squat cheese. We just go, uh, oh, look, baby. Oh, but I did good. Yes. And so you, you pour it right in with it. Here we go. OK. And oh. then just to get a little water, we're going to uh, put some water in here. OK. There we go. You know, and we're going to put this back in and shake it up. Shake there it we up. go. Get all that out of there. And, and pour, pour it in. And if you need so a little you, bit of water. Do you, do you use two jars or just one? I'm, I'm going to see right now if I need two or one. OK, OK. I'm going to do this right now and, and, and find out because we've got a lot of little stuff in here. So I'm going to see if I need one or two. I think we do one more. Yeah. We're going to do one more because he likes it saucy. <laughs> that he does. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna do my 
got more. You got to do one more. Yeah. Sure. And you know what? I like, I like these jars because they have like little uh, measuring things on them. Okay. So you can clean all of this off. Yeah. And you can use this jar again like a mason jar. There we go. Nice. Yeah. Nice. So, okay. yeah. so they're, they're reusable. That's why I like classico. So Perfect. we're going to do this. And we're going to do another. So finish telling us. So we're going to yeah. do the same thing. And we're going to so start this in. So okay. I, I was in Chicago and started in Chicago, really, really got serious in like 07 and have been doing it ever since. I mean, I'm, I'm blessed during this time where I've always had a day job, but I perform probably 200 shows a year at this point. Um, and you still have a day job? Yes, ma'am. Because comedy, with well, a couple things. One, you know this better than most, and we can talk about this uh, for the people that are listening. But uh -huh. there's not a lot of middle class for any entertainers, right? So you, you're either, in my opinion, you're either under probably 30 grand a year or you're over 250. There's not middle class. There's not a lot of people making right, 70 you. or 80 yeah. grand, yeah. right? Right. Uh -huh. And so if, if there's no middle class, I have, I have the honor of having a seven-year-old daughter who's just great. And, and so the, the day job allows me to have uh, the 401k that you talked about, and it allows me to have insurance. Right. So you do have a full white cat. I do. I do have a little one. Just a little one. It ain't big. <laughs> but but I've just been blessed because I had the day job that where I work from home and I do it in front of a computer and so literally I can be anywhere. So I give an example. Right before this whole thing hit, I did a week in Vegas. Right. So I was in Vegas, February twenty sixth. Oh, nice. Yeah, and um, and I was at the, I was at the Comedy Cellar, which you may have even been to the Comedy Cellar in New York, but I was at the one in Vegas, and uh, but I was able to work. So during the day, I'd be up in my room working, and at night, you know, I'd go down and do comedy, and so it was the best of both worlds. Isn't that nice? Have you ever thought about getting a residency? I, I have, but like I said, my daughter is seven, and I don't want to be apart from her until she gets eighteen. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. now I say that now. Call me when she gets in high school. I may be asking if I can get ready. <laughs> <laughs> so, so we have some Italian seasoning. There we go. Yeah. Now, yeah. will the Italian yeah. seasoning is that gonna is that gonna make it spicy? What's that gonna add to it? It's just gonna give it that kind of uh, uh, parsley, yeah, kind of Basil. flavor, basilly kind of flavor. You guys don't realize that looks so good. See, I, I'm so everybody knows I'm in California right now. And it's about 1.32 o'clock. I ain't had lunch. And that looks so good. <laughs> we got to add some pepper. There's a little bit of pepper. There we go. Cost. Cost grill. Yeah. You know? And if you don't wow. like that, you can just get the McCormick's if you don't, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> if you but ain't fancy. Know, we ain't that fancy, you know? Nice. So, yeah, and uh, just going to stir this in and let it get heated. And then okay. we're going to throw the shrimp in as soon as I see a little bubble. Because we know the shrimp is already kind of done, so we don't right. want it overcooked. Now, now, once once you put the shrimp in, how much longer do you just now let it simmer, and now you just sit it on the on the pot and let it simmer, and people will yeah. get it right from the pot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. See, it's, it's getting hot already. I'm just gonna let it get a little little hot, and then we're gonna put that on there, and okay. uh, we're gonna serve it up. No, no man, listen. Speaking of Vegas, do you go out to Vegas once a year for, for and perform? Yes, yes, I perform. Oh my God! At the Silverton. Okay. The Silverton. Um, there, there's a promoter that they they give like a uh, annual concert there. So nice. I performed there. I performed at the Hilton. Okay. And um, when I did the Hilton, it was the old school show with uh, Eric Floyd and and Wanda D. And um, they had everybody on that show. They had Montel Jordan. Wow. wow. Um, they had myself, they had Frida Pay, they had uh, Vivica Fox was hosting it. Okay. Uh, 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 they had uh, Vesta Williams, she was alive there, and they had Vanilla Ice. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Vanilla Ice, child, he just as cool as he want to be. I, I, I bet he is. And, and we did like like three nights. It was really, really fun. Nice. And let's talk about bringing it back, but... Vegas is, is a hard nut to crack. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Because once you get in, you, you make that good money. But uh, uh, getting in is, is the hard part. It, yeah, every, like, like you said, every it, most entertainers yeah. want it because it gives you, it's great money, but you can yeah. be at home. You don't have to do all the travel. 
and, and yeah, yeah, most yeah. entertainers will tell you the travel is the hard part of the job. Yeah, and, and, yeah. but you know, I, I love Vegas. When when we go to um, California, we just recently did California. Okay. Um, what, what, what in California did we do, babe? The, the uh, commerce? We were staying in commerce. Yeah, they commerce, a, and they have a casino there. But we yeah. Were staying at the, yeah, we stayed at the casino, and, and but we did the show um, with a young lady named Virginia. Okay. Uh, and uh, it was like at a, at a restaurant, but it was like a catering hall. Oh. And, yeah, look, look, honey, you got to go where the money is. Oh, and, I, I'm so, with you. Oh, trust yeah, me, as a so, comedian, I've done everything. <laughs> And, and she had the catering hall like like laid out. You came in, it was like a dinner. Wow. You, ate, you know what I'm saying? So that was yeah. part of your meal ticket. And wow. uh, you got to a uh, show. You got to see me perform. And then you afterwards, we took pictures. This is the thing that's going to scare me about the COVID. And I don't know okay. about you. After this is over, we go back to work. Are we going to be able to take pictures and stuff with people now? That's, that's a great question because I'm with you. I do it after every show. I take pictures. I sell T-shirts, CDs. I sell my CD. You know, yeah. oh, and this is my new CD. Love demands is available Amazon, um, and, uh, iTunes, Spotify, and and uh, we was almost up for a Grammy. We we qualified uh, uh, to be possibly nominated, but we didn't get nominated. Oh, so, well, yeah, we went like, right up to the thing, and then, you know, they both the five people, and we didn't get it, but, but uh, we were, we was close. So. Well, that's, that's congrats. Look, I know how hard it is, so congratulations. Yeah. That's a big deal. Yeah. That so is a big deal. And, and tell people where, where, and where can they find you online? Are you, are you on Instagram? Are you on Twitter? Where can they talk to you and reach out to you? I'm everywhere. See that? Okay. Yeah, Melissa Morgan. It's Melissa Morgan with one S. Okay. Or M E L I S M R S A, and I'm on Instagram, okay. Twitter, uh, um, LinkedIn, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> Facebook, everything, everything. You can find me on everything. 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 And, so and keep you can keep find that me Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. You know, so um, we and, nice. and I try to go on and, and talk to people myself. So okay, the shrimp is going in. See us on okay. So the there shrimp we is go. Coming. You got to just go. throw these shrimp in here like that. They nice. got a nice little flavor from that butter. Woo! It looks good. Yeah, yeah. So we're good to go. This nice uh, uh, southern Gulf nice. shrimp. Not Whoa. from no, uh, no farm. What? Farm raised. We, we, we don't do that here. <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, that is looking good. Well, May Lisa, I know we're we're coming to close to the end uh, of okay. cooking. If but I want you to I want you to have an opportunity to share anything that I may not have asked or anything that you just want to tell the people. Um, because I really appreciate just you spending time so I can get to know you. This has been a treat for me. Oh, thank you. Um, what what, what about me? I, I, I don't know. I just like to ha have fun. I like to entertain. I yes. love singing. I love, love, love singing. Awesome. Um, you know, and, and I'm just thinking through all of this, you know, just try to be happy, you yes. know? Yes. Still, yeah, look at that. I'm going to put that in there like oh, that. That looks so good. That. Presentation and I'll put that on, on a clear plate. Look there how we go. that is. Oh. And, and, and so wait, I've got one more thing to share with you. Remember I told you about Patty LaBelle? Uh-huh, yes. Everybody knows Patty LaBelle has her, uh, look at that, isn't that gorgeous? Oh, that is amazing. Yeah, I'm going to put you this making right my there. stomach hurt. You're making my stomach hurt. I'm all sorry. Look at that. And that's oh. my gorgeous shirt. I'm going to put a, this cover on, and this thing is going to keep cooking. Okay. It's going to keep cooking, so I can just turn that off. But, but that's how that goes. But remember I told you about Patty LaBelle before we go? Let me show you something. Okay. For dessert. Oh, look at this. This is Patty LaBelle's pudding, y'all. Whoa, oh, <laughs> come on, Patty. <laughs> Hi, Patty. She, got a, she got her own pudding. Patty, oh, if only you knew what I do with your pudding. <laughs> <laughs> look so, at that. Look at. So remember I told you everything is easy? This okay. is Patty LaBelle's 
banana pudding, y'all. Oh, man. That looks yeah, good. Yeah, I get it from uh, Walmart. So for your dessert, yeah. you just put that right there. Ooh. And then you have, you have a dessert. Isn't that that looks so good. Yeah, so I, I really enjoy this. And then uh, for drinks, we just do, everybody has this in, in, in the, you see these? There we go. Yes, yes. You see the ice? Yeah. Yes. And uh, we do this, or we'll do like an aloe drink. We have an aloe drink that we get from Kroger's. It's really good. Okay. Mango aloe. You know, just nice. put that on the ice. Okay. Yeah. It and looks good. Now, do you, yeah. do you have do you have any gigs scheduled for the end of the year that are already on the books that you want to tell people about? Yes, uh, I, I have to go back to New York oh. because I'm shooting a movie. Oh, you are! Congratulations! Yes. I'm shooting a movie uh, called Footprints of an Angel with uh, uh, Traymar. Okay. And uh, we're so excited. It's his story. And uh, I'm going to be singing, I think, Amazing Grace in the story. I'm playing uh, like a young Nana. So, uh, nice. yeah, I'm going to do a little church sing where, where, where I sing because uh, my, my daughter uh, passes away. So oh. uh, we're, we're very excited about that. So look for that. I leave, uh, I'm going to leave uh, uh, South Carolina probably around May 1st. Okay. And we shoot on the 9th and 10th. Well, so, congratulations. I, I hope everything works out awesome. So great to meet you. Everybody now, they need to realize now, not only are you a singer, an awesome singer, uh -huh. slash performer, you're a chef and now an actress. Yes, yes, yes. I'm going to sit down and eat. <laughs> <laughs> well, you guys have a great, a great rest of your day. Thank you so much for spending time with me. Thank Do me you. a favor. As we, as don't, we, forget, don't forget, pass me that. Yeah. Martin, my new CD. Love the man's. Make sure you get the new speed. There Why we go. You can find Amazon, iTunes, Spotify. You can find it anywhere. Thank you so much, Melissa. And oh, I will talk with you soon. All right. You have a great rest of your day. Okay. Here we go. I'm eating. All right. Okay. <laughs>